All right, everybody. I am back, and I think I got it going now. We are recording. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, uh, hang on. Get my tongue straight here. As I record, where I go, it may not have sound, and I hope this is taking sound because I can hear it sound now. So. But I've been turning around about right here. I have not been going all the way down to the end. And as you can see, the truck is almost loaded. And I'm going to stop right here. I did that kind of wrong, but hopefully. Yeah, there goes the tractor turn. And I just hit this little satellite symbol and it straightens up. And start your cruise. But I want to stop about right here to give them a chance to catch up. Alright. Start it and start your cruise. And right back to going to go. Now that truck's almost full. I don't know what's going to happen here. I guess as soon as he stops spraying, we need to stop. Or well, not spraying, but you know, shooting the shooting the poop into the truck. <laughs> chat, folks, chat. But I figure going at slow speeds kind of helps. So I'm running, what, about six mile an hour, it looks like, six or eight. A real quick look, I'm going down that way. So he should be full. I might just do another course play route and just go about halfway. Because it only seems like it does it when I go down to the very far end. But, yeah. This is pretty good. Uh, both of them on follow me. Uh, the chapter is like 20 meters back, I believe. I'll show them to you here as soon as he gets full. So I got a little ways to go. Map helps out a lot on this part. When you actually you can keep your eye on them and watch where you're going to. And GPS, you don't have to worry about wobbling or steering off course. Oh, he's full. He just quit shooting, so. Alright, what we want to do, we can leave him uh, just running there and take up a little bit of fuel, but. As you can see, well, if I turn we can only see, and then hit control, it's 10 meters behind, and right offset is 7 meters. So that's what you want right there. So just hit F, and then you can go and dump. Now I don't know what's going to happen if I hit. I redone the course at the let's see here BM field ten. Um let's do compacting. 
and drive course. All right. Yeah, all the tractors took away. Well, most of them I still got. Uh oh, go ahead and start him real quick. Because I think I can actually record a full course or get close to a half hour. I hope. Um, yeah. Where's that guy at? Okay, I see him now down there. He's halfway across. Guess he's too far for his speed, but uh, let's see here. We need to get this back into the peak area. I'm gonna go check out the mixing station and see how much we got left. But once he gets down there, it's going to flag me. Because he's going to start slipping. Let's go this way. And as you can see, he's still transporting. Up there. And all right, we are here at the mixing station. I got a couple of bales cleaned up, but look, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We got a. Oh, there we go. He's slipping. Stop, driver. I'm going to delete this course. But what he done, the course is inside, folks, and it just goes around in a circle. And I use that for compacting. So, it wasn't the course for out here that I had where I go. I just knew it would get me close to the sanity where he needs to be. And as you look right here, pretty much leveled out. Yeah, not quite, but I'm going to put him down to about five. See how he's going to pull this trailer. Up the speed just a little more, allow for slipping. I still got to do this end down here to push it up in the allowed area. And I want to stop right about there. And there's two pieces I bought, folks. This is a plow and a leveler. So it helps keep it somewhat level. Right, I want to go in and go back down on this side. Try to stay off that wall, so. Oh, we are empty. I don't like when it's going through the walls. But hey. And what is our percentage here? 
I get 79%. Alright, get that to close. Stop unloading. Okay. Now I want to detach. And I want to show y'all what I was doing. But first, I'm going to go get this leveler. Whee! Got some air there. And now a good load down on the other side there. Whoa! No! No! Turn. All right. My minion. No. Ha <laughs> ha. At least you set back up. Good. We're going to make a big swing. Swing, swing. Better, 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 better. Swing. There we go. Now I'll we'll put this on the back. And we'll go on to low biogas. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna load uh compacting. Uh oh. That is low. Ah, there we go. And we're going to nearest waypoint. One thing about it, he'll be driving. And all we do is control the plow. Now we'll put it down this uh not like it right there. See what it does. It does drag out a little bit. I'm going to try to put it down just a little bit more. It should be on the ground there. Now the reason why I'm doing this, it helps compact it. And it's kind of leveling it out for the next time we come through. Alright, I need to wash this tractor. It's dirty. I can't zoom in while I'm in this mode. But... Uh-oh. There we go. Raise that up on the end. Wish we could use that front loader over there. Right, I'm gonna let this back down. Uh 
Uh oh. I made them hit the thing. Stop driver. Alright, we're gonna delete this. Close. I'm gonna do it myself this time around. I'm gonna go down top here. And maybe I won't. Kind of go around this a little bit. Oh no, don't get next to the wall. Okay. Not a pretty sight. Come on. You're going to do it. Yeah, it's all the way up. Oh no, I mean you. I'm gonna get out of there, folks. See if I can get the file or the level back. Oh. Yay. I think it's just making a bad man. Let's see if let's keep this stuff back in here. Mainly, I just want to try to get it compacted. I ain't worried about the uh, levelness of it too bad. Well, I see this does work in both directions. And it seems like the uh, truck might be able to get down through there now. Off the wall. The wall gets me every time. So I can't go back no further. Alright, let's see here.
folks, that this might work out. We're 100% compacted, so. This thing's trying, it is so bumpy, it is. I wanted. I think I'm gonna go get another load of two. How much is uh? Can't, don't know how much is in there. I think it was out the tires. Ah, oh, come on now. Let me ease the front end over on that. God, the truck is dirty too. That is 721,000, folks. So let's get one more load and then we'll uh, get it ready to be tarped. So I took all the grass off this field and then what I was doing up there on that field just to get 720 something thousand whatever I just said. I'm going to up my speed back. Thing goes, what, 46? Wow. Now we do have 2 million, but ain't none of these fields right here that we can buy for that. That I know of. Now, if I could get these three guys to do all this by themselves, that would be so grateful. And you want to stop about right here. Give him enough room to so he can detect the combine or a harvester. And there he goes. I'll pull right up the side. And I'm going to go get another game. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this field, folks, or get another trailer load anyway. And I will be right back. All right. I'll go nowhere now. As you can see, it's full again. Uh-oh. Uh, there's 
in the truck. Thought I was in the wrong one there for a second. Alright, as I was going to do last time, I'm going to load the course to uh, compact you. Drive course. And then uh, we're going to do some moving of our own. We're going to go ahead and take this guy to the farm shop. We're waiting on the other guy to get to the battle gas plant. That's probably going to be the last load we take over, folks. That should give us quite a bit of money. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that was close. Mr. Blue driving skill there. Well, we got uh, four pallets of seed, four pallets of uh, dry fertilizer, and then we got, what, 12,000 gallons of liquid fertilizer. I don't know where I'm going. I forgot. I forgot. I bought something, folks. Um, let's see. It's going to be right up here. Told you I was going to get into the coon sprayers. Uh, I like to try that guy out with. We're going to need a tractor. To do this with. So, see, that is 21 meters, that is 36 meters. What was the guy that we had? We had this and that one. And he was 36 meters. Whoa. Yeah, that's 36. Okay, we're going to buy this one. Oh, crap. Hit the wrong button, folks. Alright, we're going to get this. Buy. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to get this one here. Buy. Yes. Okay. Back. And he is 36 meters and he holds 4,100 gallons. Not bad. Uh oh. Go get your tractor real quick. Stop driver. Uh, delete the core. Well, it's not deleting, it's deleting out of there. Where the heck is he? Oh, okay. The biogas is right over here. He almost got there. And we gotta get our field sprayed. And, um... That might be on the next course, because we've running a little out of time. We'll have to get some videos edited for tomorrow. Or it's, uh, be a couple of days from this one going up. In other words, this one's going to be probably going up three days from my time. Which today is Sunday, March 12th. And y'all will probably see this in around Wednesday or Thursday. Somewhere in there. Uh, don't have no problems, please sir. No problems. Stay up. Stay up away from the wall. Alright, I'm going to start dumping. Oh, start dumping. There we go. Oh, keep going, keep going.
I hit a hole, folks. There we go. We're going to have to get a front loader down here and start pushing this stuff up. All right, we are empty. I'm going to hit the F1 here. Uh, yeah, okay, stop. All right. I hate to do this, but I'm going to go right back down through there. I see how good this other side is. A little bit more speed, though. 82% compacted, not bad. Oh, it's not been a bad idea. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a front end loader, folks. I know just the what to buy to. Uh, I'm probably going to get one more load. But we're not going to go back over there. We're going to do it from this field. I'm going to concentrate on spraying. So, uh, which tractor are we going to use? Seventy-eight ten. Folks, someone. Do something real quick. Let's see if we can upgrade him any. I like the 78 way it handles and stuff. Flint. Let me switch over my mouse. That's, oh, that's 84, but. They don't have uh, front loader attachers. Hooey. He does. 5530. 209 horsepower. We, we gotta remember that, folks. 209 horsepower. I'm out right there, 7800. Hiring 75 horsepower. Wow. I know the Simar don't have, no. Uh, that's all of them. Go to the one that we have. Go to garage. Probably faster. Oh, no, 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 no. He is not a front loader. Gonna take a little time. Try and find what this other blue one we got. That was a 78 AR. That's, that's all the stuff. Outro. Uh, pass it, folks. 
Clancy Ferguson. I guess that's what we got right there, T8. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. 320 horsepower, 31 miles. All right, folks. Uh, we are going to get this one right here. It's going to be our sprayer tractor. A Holland T8. Yep. Uh, we're going to see if we can change the tires on this thing. Yeah, I hate driving all the way. Uh, Set lights on. There are crops done took the stick at row, folks. We got at least get it sprayed once. Might not be this field, but the next time we plant that other field, it's going to be probably three types of fruits instead of one canola all the way across. Oh, good. We do have a spot right there. We'll take these trees out. We'll have enough spot to mow. Just scared folks. We'll have a spot to put some things in. Huh? Alright, and here we go. I know y'all probably don't like it because we've tried to do it instead of a uh, sprayer itself. But it eliminates one thing we'll have to cycle through. So, alright, and to fill this up, I can't remember what the front tank is. So it's 1500 and that is 4000. So these six, five, 56,000. So I would need 6,000 liters of chemical. So we're going to go over here and, whoop. These are 2,000, so I would need three of these. Actually, I'm just going to get two, because that way we won't have one set here. Okay. We'll put one in the front tank and one in the back. I like it. It's not too tall, not too wide. It's perfect for the front. Got a gauge back there. Uh, okay, it didn't hold all that. That's good. Ah, wrong one. I don't want to see the gauge moving there, folks. Oh, I gotta get closer.
All right, see the gauge right there up in the middle? There it goes. Get a little beacon light back there on the back. I like it. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. All right, let's go uh, get him to spray him. And then we're going to call it the episode. I would like to take down some of these trees and extend this field some. I'd really like to do that. That'd give us more crops on this end. All right, I'm going to go down here to where we left off. And this should be the same boom width as the other one. Wow, look at that boom, folks. Oh my goodness. There. I'm glad it ended like this right here that we'll know exactly where to start and stop that. Oh man, it's going to change the tire type. Alright, there it goes. Hired worker. I know it's only seven mile an hour, but that ain't what I want. Heads up this place up. There we go. Trying to find that perfect thumbnail. Wow, it's pretty neat, folks. Now we're going to watch how, see how this thing turns around. Uh, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. I just sprayed that side. Huh. <laughs> There's one set of tire tracks. I'm gonna say about here. Okay. Folks, what I'm gonna do real quick is go back to the market shop and see if we can change these wheels. We probably can't, no our luck. Never heard to try.
Oh, we didn't get the biggest motor this time? Let's see. 320, 380, 435. So 435 is the biggest motor. Oh, we can't get thin tires, so this thing has crawler tracks. I gotta see what it looks like with crawler tracks, folks. I know it's gonna be losing a little money, but. Oh, okay. Those. Uh, let's just get the standard tires put on it. And go from there. Still wide. Almost left her tank here. But we might not use this tractor all the time because we don't want wide tires in the crops. Especially when they're growing, but uh just for right now to get finished spraying. Let's see how many horsepower this thing needs to work and uh might get a flint front loader to go with this, get some narrow tires. And the front load can be for the pallets and stuff too. Ah. Uh, there we go. Gonna hire a worker. Let's go to our map. And go to your soil. One zone in. Alright, pretty close now. Vivian. Hmm. What happened to Boo? Oh well, folks. She probably went home for the day or something. I ain't seen Jason either. Alright, we need to get some more sheep and get some pigs going here. Need some corn and... Got the canola coming. We need some sugar beets. Oh, Lordy. Well, Alright, folks. I'm going to finish spraying this field across here and then jump over to field one get it sprayed and I will see y'all next time oh I love that it'd be nice if we had some controls shut like uh, maybe four different spots off in that boom but uh anyway folks I keep forgetting it's not that way. I gotta go to here. Go up. Turn that on. Uh, oh, back out of the way. Go over and hit OK. And that way we get our speed and stuff back. But yeah, it would be nice. I don't see nothing, so. Alright, folks. See y'all next time. Bye.